to another episode of Dean's Destination. This is episode four now, um, and I think 22 subscribers, so I've got like maybe two or three more from, from the last video when I was in Scarborough. Um, so yeah, this, this week I'm going to Cleethorpes, and Cleethorpes is a little seaside town on the east coast, um, and from where I live it's not too far to get to, um, and I've also got uh, my nana who lives in a static caravan there, um, so I'm going to just pop and see her, but from a distance because she's still a bit wary about coronavirus, so I am going to surprise her, but I'm going to keep the distance. Um, I've not seen her for months and months and months, that'll be nice. Um, so, And this video is going to be a lot quieter because I've got, you know, nothing really much to do. I've got nothing to, you know, add or fix or change. Um, I have ordered a wireless microphone because I noticed that in the last video uh, the audio was very very poor quality um, so I apologise for that in some places it was really really quiet when I was editing it it didn't sound too bad but actually when I've looked at the YouTube videos back uh, the, my voice is quite quiet in places and some of the music is really loud as well so I'll, I'll try and sort that out for the next video um, or for this video uh, I don't have the wireless mic with me now that should be getting delivered any time, so that will definitely be ready for um, for the next video. So sound quality should improve next time. Um, so after I've finished, um, why why go around me just to do that? Thanks for that. So yeah, uh, this time I'll be visiting um, a car park that is pretty much right on the beach. Um, so I'll be stopping there overnight. You're not supposed to sleep there. So it's another stealth camp where I need to sort of be fairly quiet and, you know, because I think police potentially and maybe if there's any council representatives that might patrol that car park to stop people sleeping there because it did used to be a hot spot for people sleeping. Um, however, I walked past it a few weeks ago um, and it looks like maybe they're doing things now to try and stop people from sleeping there. So we'll drive down, we'll have a look. Um, We'll see what we'll see what's kicking down there. So yeah, I've also brought my guitar um, and some food to make a chow mein. I've got all the ingredients for a chow mein. And what I'm thinking about doing, because I've brought the dogs, is uh, walking down into the sand dunes uh, at the bottom end of the beach at Cleethorpes, sitting in the sand dunes, making something to eat, just chilling out, playing the guitar, and letting the dogs sort of run and have a sniff around. So in the last video. Um, I didn't take the dogs, um, I went out on my bike, as you know, um, but that was partly because Zach's back legs weren't very good, but they're, they're a lot better now, so I'm going to try him out and see see how he's been walking and get him down to the beach and let him, let him relax a little bit and enjoy himself because he deserves it. So another thing that I wanted to mention, uh, and I'm doing it now, is watching the videos back of me talking when I'm editing them and then looking when I've fully edited them to give them a full run through to make sure that everything's good, the music's all good and you know it's a good quality video there's no errors in there or any of the sequences are wrong or any of the wrong fades or music comes in at the wrong time, anything like that whilst I've been doing that I've noticed how much I say um, all the time and I don't know if I do that normally or if it's just because I'm talking to the video or the camera and maybe I'm a bit nervous but I constantly constantly say um, all the time or, uh, 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 I'm always doing it so in this video I'm just gonna put in the bottom corner this side or this side um, there you go a little counter I don't count how many times I say erm in a video because I'm trying my best not to from now on because it's annoying and it probably annoys me more than anyone and I didn't notice until recently so yeah erm counter in the bottom corner let's see how many we get at the end of the uh, uh, video <laughs> right then, better get some fuel the lights on
Okay, so I'm in the town centre itself, and when we get around this corner, we should be able to see uh, the sea. There we go. Ah, the tide's out. Quite far out as well. Which is good because it gives us somewhere to walk with the dogs. Alright, so in the distance, the white building with the red shutters um, is a train yard, but it, it houses the smallest pub on the planet. You're probably not going to get a good view, but basically, that pub there on the corner is a, basically a bar with uh, the pumps. Basically, one person can get behind the bar at a time and one person can get served at a time that's that's about as big as it is it can fit two people in one person behind the bar one person getting served and then the rest of the seating's outside in the beer garden might even have a walk up and have a look see what's going on there we'll see because the weather's pretty atrocious to be honest so i'm almost at the caravan now just ahead um and then um that's one number one so yeah, it's just here. And I can see their car, so they must be here. Oh, and I can see my granddaddy's just walked out. He's smiling his head off. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, you all right? Hey. How are you? I'm good, are you? Yeah. Hello, Ted. He's looking old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Van. Look at your hair! <laughs> oh dear! I've seen you with your um, first one that you did yeah. with Van, it yeah. was okay. But I don't know YouTube, I haven't had others. But it was did my mum show you it? She sent it me, yeah. Oh, Alright. It was smashing, really, really good. good. Are you stopping here then? Yeah, I'm stopping that car park on beach. Oh, well, we'll come and see you. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. Go Did you notice whether that tramp was at end when he came round? A tramp? Yeah. No other one. Fish, yeah. no. Is he not? No. How do you know he isn't? Hey. How do you know he's, he's not? He's in that. It's where he's dressed. Do you know what I mean? He covers his legs up with his old sleeping bag and what have you. But he's got brand new reading trainers and better ones than I can buy. I mean, he, he, he gets covered all the time. Online you're getting done, on your phone people are trying to do you. It's just horrendous really, isn't it? So like a few weeks ago when I came here, I accidentally, I just put it in my sat-nav and followed my sat-nav and next thing I know I've gone over under Umber Bridge. So I had to go online and pay the bloody ticket because I went through Tag Lane. Yeah. I didn't even go through things, I went through Tag Lane bucks. and just drove straight across. So I was like, bloody 15. hell, 15 quid. How much? 15 quid. So yeah, I'm going to go to that car park up there, you know, that one that me and Matt parked yeah. in that time. Yeah. How did you get to it? Forgot, right, I tried yeah. last time. Go left down there, you know Yeah, what yeah, I mean, round about. And then you'll see, there's that Meridium Centre. Yeah, yeah. Between next that turning, and next pub. turning round and that little pub. That little one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you go <laughs> down, follow up road round, but yeah, you can't get, get on the grass. No, I noticed yeah. I walked past it, the, it's yeah. all overgrown now, isn't it, yeah. and they've shut it all yeah. off. A barrier on that car park? No. 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 So, yeah. Good. That way, I've never seen it put down. And what time does that oven close? Nine? Nine, yeah. Because I'm going to go up there first and take dogs for a walk down there because it's a bit quieter. Yeah, it'll be a lot quieter. And if tide's out, I don't know how tide Tide is it. out. Well, we can go up there and go. Exactly, yeah, that's the plan. Keep out of, if it looks dark, Sam, don't go on it because it's. It's Quick sand, yeah. yeah. I'll get in the van and I'll go and stop in that other Let car park. Yeah, I will do. Don't forget to put the tester in here. No, no worries, I'll message you. 
Yeah. All right. I love you both. Fresh, fresh, See you later, Grandad. <laughs> Go, my Grandad was smiling his head off when I pulled up. Well, those are bad. Tell me what it was, did it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <laughs> You just wanted to surprise you, didn't you? <laughs> so I'll message you anyway, and if uh, tomorrow, if you're about. Come yeah. Oh, really in the bracket, you'll see Van a mile off, won't you? <laughs> see? Don't to tell me. I won't. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, my nana and granddad. How big was my granddad's smile when I pulled up? Then he was smiling his head off. He's usually quite quiet as well, but he was well happy to see me. And he genuinely has lost loads and loads of weight, and so has my nana. They look really good. And I've never seen me, I've never seen my nana's hair that long before in my life. But obviously, lockdowns affected everybody, and obviously for them, for better. They look really well. But I've not seen them for such a long time because they've kept themselves locked away. So that was lovely to see them dead chuffed. Uh, so now I'm going to go to a car park um, um, that's number two unless I've done one before uh, three <laughs> I'm going to this car park now and it's next to the sand dunes but it's right at the end of the beach I'm going to get everything in a bag get the dogs walk into the dunes find somewhere to sit down it's not windy so I'll be able to cook there um, and then, once I've done there, I'll come back to the van because the car park closes at 9 o'clock. And then I will go to the second car park where I'm going to be sleeping tonight, and that's more tarmac. This one closes, it's got a barrier. This one, the other one I'm going to go to will stay open all night. That's still on the beach as well. I've slept there before in the past in an old van I had. And some, I think quite a lot of people do sleep there, but they tried stopping it. So it'd be interesting to go and see if there's any signage up. Um, and see what they say. <laughs> it's so hard to not say them. <laughs> um, so just pulling into now Humberston Fitties um, Chalet Park and it's brilliant. I'll show you, let me turn the camera around. So basically it's full of chalets but they're like all different. Some of them are what people have built themselves, some are like this somewhere it's like um, Oh, I forget the net rendered at the side with the pebble dash render. Some of them are made out of wood, and but they're all they're all different. Some of them are really quirky and they look like shacks from uh, like Southern America. Um, stop saying them. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll have a quick look at some of them as we go past and get to the car park. Here we go. Some of them have even got little porches on, like uh, like an, an American one. To let there. Here we go, look, here's an American style one. The Den of Joy. This one's hidden inside a forest. <laughs> but lovely still, I bet that one's really nice to sit inside. Here's another nice one with a porch on the front. T4 on the driveway as well. Prospect Place. The stunning one down here, this one here. Creek cabin it's called. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this car park's locked at eight. Eight o'clock it's locked at. So we make sure we need to uh, get out of here before then. Which don't give us very long to be honest because it's 25 to 7.
on the edge of the beach having a stir fry but I've only got 20 minutes left before that car park shuts yes so I've got to eat this quite quick um, get back to the van drive to the next car park and then I'll wash up so yeah really really good Right, back in the van, just setting off. It's freezing cold now, my hands are frozen. Um, and I said, um, <laughs> so yeah, it's cold. It's so cold that even the uh, gas cooker I had to keep my hand on the gas canister so that it would stay warm enough to keep pressure up and cook the food. That's how cold it is. Um, and also, there was a breeze. <laughs> right, so I need to keep my eyes peeled because the car park I'm looking for is around here somewhere. I'm going to try this one first. I think it's this one right next to this little pub. Look. There we go. That's the tiniest, smallest pub on the planet. It's quite busy. Of a lie. Look at this, there's a fox there, and there is like a, a deer, a brown and white deer, and the fox is sneaking up to it, look actually. Oh, there's a car behind me, I've got to go. Yeah, it's a deer. Okay, the car park's very busy. Uh, it won't be busy all night. There's quite a few motorhomes here already and a few camper vans. So I'm just going to park up here for now. And that's pretty much the view. <laughs> so yeah, as, as we're pulling up, there was a, a a baby deer. But it was brown and white. I've never seen a brown and white deer before. At first I thought it was a goat, but it's definitely a deer. They're very small. And there was a fox sneaking up to it. So I don't know what happened. There's a car behind me, so I couldn't stop out to keep moving. So I don't, I don't know what. I don't know the deer's fate. Who knows what happened to the deer? What I might do now, anyway, is get the dogs on the leads and have a quick wander down to that pub down there and get a, get a drink, yeah, before before I come back and wash up and get settled in for the night. So I'll get the dogs ready. All right. So, oh, I need to lock the van. Two seconds. There we go. Yeah, so the van's packed up. And we're going to go for a walk now with the dogs. I'm going to go to that pub and see if it's still open and get a pint of Strongbow, I think. <laughs> Hiya. 
Um, do you do strongbow dark fruit? No, uh, recorded like wild berries. Yeah, how much is that a pint? Brilliant, can I have a pint of that please? Thank you very much. Do you do contactless? Yeah. Brilliant, fair contactless, is that alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, can't go inside because um, of coronavirus and stuff, we even had to pay card payment. But I've got me not strong bow but record league. <laughs> What are you crying for? Do you want a pint as well? Is that what's up with you? So I'll uh, drink this and then we'll get back to the van. Yeah! Yeah! All in all it was so there you go then, the signal box fault. in. The smallest put on the planet. Don't you see I'm feeling in our land gold while I believe in you Right, so it's almost dark and our lovely, lovely pine got about a ten minute walk to get back to the van now it's quite dark down here there's no street lights or anything so I'll push back get in the van, get my bed set up and then I need to wash up from, from earlier. So this is how I've been woken up this morning. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Eh? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Alright. Are you pausing? <laughs> to look out of that window. That's, oh, all right then. <laughs> Airbed's gone flat. So I'm sleeping on the floor basically. The tiles that I put down are fairly soft though so yeah it wasn't a bad night's sleep but I kept I kept waking up. 
So I'm going to need to get a new air bed. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> no. So, beautiful views behind me of the uh, marshes and dunes and the beach. And my nana and granddad are here now. <laughs> Great timing. I'd just couldn't find my key and it were in bloody ignition, wasn't it? <laughs> you too, love you. <laughs> Get wrapped up in caravan. See you later. Right, that's me done for the day. It is rubbish, foggy, cold, drizzling, cloudy. So I'm not going to bother walking down onto the beach. The dogs wouldn't like it anyway. Explore it next time, particularly because this video is running over quite long too. The um, counter is at 20, 20, just over 20 urns. So, absolutely ridiculous. I apologise for all the urns. Uh, yeah, so it's time for me to go and I will see you next week. I don't know where I'm going to go yet, so we'll see you when we get there. So, I'll see you next time in a different location on Dean's Destinations. Take care. Don't you see I'm feeling blue But he believes in all